Hey guys, Starship106 here today, and I'm going to be reviewing the GB Tiger Portable Wireless Bluetooth Speaker. So, here's a list of um, topics I'm going to be covering in today's review. Uh, so let's get started. First off the bat is build quality. When you pick it up, I know it's fairly lightweight, but everything's metal and rubber, which is great. Rubber feet makes it very grippy. I can use this as like a handle for my slide out thing and everything else is metal this great metal the sides are metal very nicely done on that uh, build quality department uh, oh I lied just kidding not all of its metal this little part that sticks out where all the controls are housed is plastic so yeah um, yeah not that cheap plastic uh, I actually didn't really realize it was plastic, so I mean, that just goes to show the quality of it. Um, yeah, that's about build quality, longevity. Uh, I feel like if any part of it's gonna break, it's gonna be the internals. Um, and I, I really can't give you an accurate uh, measurement of how long it's supposed to last. Uh, it could last forever. It could break tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. But as of things I can test and see, uh, Dexter, even if you drop this a million times, it's probably going to be fine. You just like small drops. That don't, uh, yeah, the exterior is not going to suffer any damage. Maybe some chips or something. But I mean, it's all metal. It's really strong. Uh, as of the internal electronics, if you drop it, of course, <laughs> it's probably going to break some stuff in there. But yeah, just don't drop it. Um, yeah, there's nothing really to make me doubt the longevity of this uh, these speakers, which is which is good. Uh, ease of use, very easy to use. If you could find the the on and off switch, which is aligned right there, it took me a while to find it. I thought it was one of those super next level ones that you could just press or something. I don't know, uh, but yeah, there's a tiny switch under there, which is nice because you don't have to see the switch when you turn it on. Power on. And Bluetooth mode. And a Chinese woman uh, proudly announces that these speakers are pairing. on and pairing. And so you just connect it. Disconnected. The... Oh, okay. Um, yeah, my phone's currently connected to something else. But yeah, you just turn on the Bluetooth on your phone and boom, it's connected like that. Um, it says there's supposed to be an aux uh, input. There isn't. Uh, I'm not sure if it says on the description, but um, in the instruction manual, it does say there is an uh, aux cord. So it's, it looks like it's only Bluetooth. Um, yeah, that's. I believe that was ease of use that I just said. Maybe it wasn't. Yeah, but it's easy to use there. <laughs> um, effectiveness. Uh, uh, this, I'm going to tie in sound quality as well because these are speakers. Um, very effective. Seriously, for oh, how much is it? 18 bucks. It's very, very effective. There is, um, uh, it goes up pretty loud for something this small. Like, here is it in my hand. Um, for something this small, it gets really, really loud. And you can hear it even when it's at the most quiet mode, most highest, most loudest, most loud. Oh my god, I can't speak. The loudest mode and the quietest mode, you can hear it without any visible distortion or audible distortion. Wow. Um, yeah. Uh, the bass as well. Uh, for something this small, I expected it just to be kind of like a higher quality version of phone, uh, phone speakers, but this actually packs some bass in it, especially at the higher volumes, which is very impressive. For something $18, I did not expect that at all. Yeah, uh, that's about the effectiveness. Aesthetics, personally, this looks great. I mean, it's just the little thing, looks really modern, sits in the corner, it's really nice. Uh, it's full metal construction, only makes it look nicer. When you turn the light, it kind of glows out the bottom, reflects off the table, looks super nice as well. Shiny on the steel trim around. Yeah, I'll leave it up to you decide if it looks good or not. Uh, yeah. Uh, the price on this is actually pretty amazing. Um, Seventeen, uh, nine, eighteen dollars actually. My bad. Um, yeah, that's <laughs> under twenty bucks, and you're getting a lot of speaker for the money. I really, really like this. Uh, you can go compare it with some other speakers, but 
I truly think that this is one of the best out there for 20 bucks, especially in terms of its si considering its size and everything. Yeah, rating, um, five star rating from me. Uh, it goes above and beyond what I uh, think $18 constitutes for nowadays. You know, uh, such a tiny speaker goes so loud, packs some bass. What else can you expect from this? I mean, it's really great. It's textbook definition of a five-star rating. Perfect five-star rating. Yeah, uh, there's not that much else to say about these speakers. Um, I wish they had an aux cord, but you can't really get everything you want. Um, you can put an SD card or something in there. They call it a TF card. I think it's just a micro SD. I'm not too sure. Never used that before. Uh, yeah, that's about it. I hope this review helped you. And yeah, have a nice day.